You should never be ashamed of making a comeback to your martial arts school. People will understand that sometimes life gets in the way of your martial arts practice. We get a new job, we move, we get kids. Things happen that might interfere with our progress. And don't feel guilty about this because that's life. And a good martial arts teacher will understand. They will welcome you back. And that's why I wanna give you my top three pieces of advice for how to make an epic comeback to your dojo. Check it out. Number one, baby steps. Meaning you should gradually progress to get back to your previous level because martial arts is like a mountain. You climb up a bit, but then if you take a break, you don't stop at that level. You actually slowly start sliding back down. You will regress. You're not the same person you were a couple of months or years ago. Don't expect to be in the same shape and know the same skills as you did before, because things change. That means you need to swallow your pride and adopt the mindset of a beginner, shoshin. That doesn't mean you have to be a beginner. Just have the humility of somebody who's looking at things from a different perspective because you're not the same person you used to be. Because if you don't listen to this advice, you're gonna get injured. And that means you're gonna have to take an even longer break or even quit altogether. Maybe you can use this opportunity to have a fresh start, to learn the stuff that you neglected in the past and to become a new, better and improved version of yourself rather than trying to recreate something that you were before. I already mentioned that injuries can easily happen if you don't take baby steps. That's why recovery is now more important than ever. You see, although overtraining is bad, under recovery is even worse. That means you need to eat and sleep properly when you're not training. And you need to think about things in your life that cause a lot of stress because training is also stressful. But if you do it in the right amount, it's actually a good stress. It challenges you to grow and go outside of your comfort zone. Aside from eating and sleeping, you can also use more acute recovery methods like sauna, which activates heat shock proteins in your body, or a cold shower, or maybe even a massage. The point is you wanna be on top every time you start training. You don't wanna have any fatigue left in your body and mind when you go into a new training session, because all of that is gonna build up until something breaks and hopefully that's not you. Lastly, you need to switch up your training. Don't be one track minded. I'm talking about physical training as well, not just skills. You wanna work on your strength, your cardio, your flexibility and mobility. These are the things that allow you to take your skill back to where it used to be or even better. Because those are actually the things we lose first when we stop training. Your skills might still be in there somewhere, but you don't have the physical ability to perform them at the same level as previously. That's why I'm offering you 10% off my strength and flexibility program if you click the link in the video description. That being said, just going for a jog or doing some light stretching at home or coming to the dojo a couple of minutes before your regular training and working through your body will take you a long way. But if you don't wanna figure out that on your own, check out my programs. You see, technique and physique are two sides of the same coin, and they gotta be aligned on the path of your epic comeback. To summarize, start with baby steps. Don't jump in with both feet first, but gradually progress into your training. Number two was recovery. Don't focus too much on training and too little on recovering your body and mind. And last but not least, don't just go into the technical aspects, but also the physical aspects. But most importantly, you should not be ashamed of making a comeback. After all, you've already invested so many hours into your training. The real shame is if you don't continue training, if you don't take it up again, then all of that will almost be wasted. And if you wanna learn more about how to improve your skills for your comeback, check out some of my other videos and I'm sure you're gonna find something that you're gonna find useful. Thank you so much for watching. Train hard, good luck, and have fun.